Atop that tower. I was not company enough. I am no longer a child. I wish to see the world. Don't you know what's out there in the world? My dad always took us to New York and we'd see like six shows in four days. And Into the Woods was one of those shows that year when you're that age and you see something this important and this interesting. I mean, it was life changing. Princess, wait there in the world, it's true. Princess, yes, but wolves and humans too. They originally brought me in for the baker's wife. And I was like, really, not the witch? And I was that 16-year-old kid listening to the cast album in my car, driving around and doing the rap with Bernadette Peters. <laughs> you know, I knew every line by heart. So I've always wanted to be the witch ever since I was 16, when I should have been playing Little Red. Who could love you more than I? What a fair that I cannot supply. Stay with me. I'm a mother, and I think the witch, what she, she wanted more than anything was to give love to a child. So I, I get all those themes. It was literally just trying to make it my own, find my own witch. What is that about? And this concept that Mark Lamos has is very different from the original production and it has a really unique flair and so that's helping us guide these characters in new directions for ourselves too. I mean, I just always thought I was too stupid to do Sondheim. <laughs> I say it as a joke, but I sort of mean it because everything about what he does is so intelligent. It's so intellectual and it's so to be studied. But did you think I would stay in that tower forever? Why didn't you tell me you had a visitor? I will not share you. And I've just never been called upon to audition for anything that he's done, new stuff or old stuff, even at regional theaters. I've just literally never had the opportunity for some strange reason until now.